These are two best amazing tricks and strategies of the end game you must know. This is the first position. It's white to move and you have to find the winning idea. Now let's see this position. You cannot move the king because this king is protecting the squares where you can just go and rook is slicing this b file. So you should start to deliver with a check. When you deliver a check, king can just approach to your pawn and this can be catastrophic for white but in this case you are winning because king can just gain the opposition and you don't have any good checks with the rook. If you deliver this check, queen can easily be promoted and you will lose the game. So let's see, if you slide toward the other side of the board, then the queen is coming in the game. You would see this check, but the rook is in time to block the check and you are winning. But you have to keep in mind that this will not work when this rook is somewhere else. Let's see, if the queen king attacks this pawn and you will say, okay, now white is winning, but you can play this rook lift to other side of the board and you happily bring the queen in the board then you will lose the game by this checkmate rook comes here you will have to block with the rook and this is a stunning checkmate so you have to keep this mind this is very easy win but you don't have to blunder but what about the other moves if you deliver this check black knows that this king here cannot be played so he places the king to this side and if you try to get the rook to the last rank and says okay now in the next move you can just move the king and that is completely fine but this will not work because king can just attack you and once you save it the king is going to be attacking you again and again once you move it with the check i will just repeat and that's it so after this i cannot play this because this is losing i can just bring the king here and the pawn is getting promoted in the next move and you don't have anything better so you would just lose the game if you play the king to after this check if you bring the king to e6 square so this is losing so you just have to repeat the position and the game is equal but what can we do after this this rook cannot be lifted here this can be a winning idea but you will require so many moves and calculations but we have a very easy way to deal with this situation we have to remember the lucina we have to build a bridge on the fourth rank so how to build a bridge let's see you have to play this rook to e4 and why this is important if this king now tries to block the bridge by this attacking it there are several ways you can win this game but the most effective and easy one is to go on the eighth rank and once the king approaches you you just play the king move and now in the next move the pawn is getting promoted so you will try to deliver some of the checks after this check you have to stick to the pawn if you don't stick to the pawn let's say you go here you are losing the pawn and you are blundering the game so after this you have to stick to the pawn and once you deliver check you walk diagonally and once the check is exhausted you will see this pawn is getting promoted you play any of the move and the pawn will just get promoted so that's the idea why building a bridge on the fourth rank is working when the king attacks you what if the king doesn't attack you let's see if black plays this rook move waiting for you to move once you move it here black will again try to deliver so many checks so you go here and if you stick to the pawn then this would again be just a draw and you will not be getting the win from here but you have to use the fact that after this check you have to stick to this pawn and once you deliver a check you have to walk diagonally once you walk diagonally this check is not going to work why because we have successfully built this bridge and now you cannot capture and the pawn is getting promoted let's say you play any of the move and now queen is coming in the game so you will just win the game on the if you want to learn directly from me and reach the rating of 2000 on chess.com click the link in the description to join the whatsapp group these are paid classes 
but the fees is very low as I'm not a professional. My rating is 2100 on chess.com but you can also achieve like me by practicing with me. So I will see you soon in my next video. Till then for other traps you can subscribe my youtube channel for latest update and press the bell icon to never miss some wonderful opening traps.